It's good time at Golden Prairie Community Church again, where we're learning all sorts of things about God. And last time, we talked about Adam and Eve and how God asked them to leave the Garden of Eden. He kicked them out of the Garden of Eden because they'd done what he didn't want them to do. They'd sinned. They'd eaten from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And they found out what evil was. And we talked about how God was right in sending them out of the garden. He was just in sending them out of the garden. But sometimes a question comes up. Is just the same as fair? Is being just always the same as being fair? Because it depends on what you mean by fair. It's really common. It's like, that's not fair. He got two cookies and I only got one. If fair means being treated absolutely evenly all the time, that is different than being just. Just means doing what is right. Often, fair means doing what is the same. Let me give you a story. There were two sisters. And one sister loved to sing from the time she was itty bitty. She would sing like anything. She loved music. She so desperately wanted to learn how to play the piano because then she could play the piano and sing at the same time. And it was something she really, really, really wanted. Her sister couldn't sing a note. Tone deaf, didn't care about music at all. But she loved animals. She wanted to learn how to ride horses. She really, really, really loved horses and she wanted to learn how to ride. And she dreamed of jumping big jumps and, and just having her own horse someday. Now, her sister, who loved the piano, didn't like animals at all. She was afraid of horses. As a matter of fact, she was allergic. Anytime she got close to them, she sneezed and coughed. So her parents, because they loved them both, wanted to do what was absolutely fair and treat them absolutely the same. So they both got music lessons. Well, that was fair. That was even. But it wasn't necessarily right. You see, God doesn't treat us all evenly. In the Bible, as he's talking to different people, he has some people that he makes to be kings. And he has some that he gives a much harder life to. Some people he asks to be prophets. And then he tells them right off the bat, nobody's going to listen to you and you're going to have a really hard life, but I still want you to do what I want you to do. And I want you to tell them the truth. And you see, God doesn't treat us evenly. He doesn't give us all the same things because we're all individuals. He knows each of us by name. He knows who we are. He made us the way we are. He doesn't treat us all evenly, but he does treat us all rightly. He treats us all justly. And that's something to remember because he loves us. We know that he loves us. So even when things get hard, we know that we can trust him because he will always do what is right. Hi there, my name is Sandy, and and you know what? Oh. I don't have a Bible. You don't have a Bible? No, we have lots of Bibles in our house, but I don't have my own. Did you want a Bible? Could I get one? Yeah, if you don't have a Bible, mm -hmm. we can give you a Bible. We have Bibles specially for kids. That's and me. And we have Bibles that are even for adults. So that would be me. If people want a Bible, they can just write to Pastor Rod. The email address is on the screen. And tell us why you want a Bible, and we'll make sure you get one. Hey, that's really cool. Well, I would like a Bible because I want to learn about Jesus. That's a very good reason to have a Bible. So we'll give you a Bible. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye for now. 